a boy is born in Paris, France in the year 1738, and subsequently abandoned. His mother is tried almost immediately for previous infanticide and subsequently executed, leaving him an orphan. He is named Jean-Baptiste Grenouille, French for frog, and is fostered but is a difficult, solitary child and is eventually apprenticed to a local tanner. Unknown to other people, Grenouille has a remarkable sense of smell, giving him an extraordinary ability to discern subtlest odors from complex mixtures of scent and across great distances. As a result, he can perform apparently magical feats such as identifying bad vegetables, discerning approaching visitors, or navigating in total darkness. One day, long after having memorized nearly all the smells of the city, Grenouille is surprised by a unique smell. He finds the source of the scent, a young virgin girl just passing puberty. Entranced by her scent and believing that he alone must possess it, he strangles her and stays with her body until the scent has left it. In his quest to learn more about the art of perfume making, he becomes apprentice to one of the city's finest perfumers, Giuseppe Baldini, an aging, once great master of the trade who finds himself increasingly outperformed by rival perfumers. Grenwell proves himself a prodigy by copying and improving a rival's perfume in Baldini's laboratory, after which Baldini offers him an apprenticeship. Baldini teaches Grenwell the basic techniques of perfumery while selling Grenwell's masterful new formulas as his own, restoring his flagging reputation. Baldini eventually reveals to Grenwell that there are techniques other than distillation that can be used to preserve a wider range of odors, which can only be learned in the heartland of the perfumer's craft, in the region of grass in the French Riviera. Shortly after, Grenwell elects to leave Paris, and Baldini dies when his shop collapses into the River Seine.